What's up? What's good? What's going on, family? So let's jump in and do the daily increase. But we are on the brinks of a full moon in Cancer. So I do want to dive in a little bit and look into this information for Sagittarius. So if you are interested in that, stick around. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house. Very particular messages for the ninth house here on the Manjula Awakening. But even with that being said, just take the resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? All right, Spirit. So what is this full moon in Cancer? It's a message for the Sagittarius Collective at this time. What is the overall message from this full moon in Cancer for the Sagittarius Collective Spirit? Ooh. What do you need to release? Okay. So the message in this full moon in Cancer for Sagittarius definitely needs to be a bowl burning, I would say a bowl burning ceremony, or at the very least, getting your pen and paper out and journaling about the things that you are in process of releasing, that you know you are in need of releasing. At the bottom of the deck, we do have full moon in Scorpio. It's a time to release negativity. So there's still some pent up energy that Sagittarius is holding on to, that it's in, in, in it's time to release it so that you can get into this next cycle and really take hold of what it has to offer, okay? So what is this full moon in um, Cancer? What is it? What is this offering Sagittarius? What is this full moon in Cancer offering the Sagittarius Collective Spirit? What is this full moon in Cancer offering Sagittarius at this time? We have something to do with the 8th house, Mystery, Aquarius, Collaboration, and Saturn, Structure. So someone could have Aquarius and Saturn. Um, there could be there's an there's definitely an Aquarian Saturn lesson here. Um, but this is all something that could be placed in the eighth house. So give me just one moment while I break this down. At the bottom of the deck is we do have square, semi-square um tension. So there is definitely some tension, like the like the root. Like we gotta get to the root of some tension under here. What do you need to release? There's tension that is the root of this collaboration here. So this says mystery, collaboration, and structure. So what do you need to release so that you can see why collaboration, your collaborations with other people, the structure is off. Why these collaborations keep falling is because of the structure. I also feel like that there is a mystery collaboration that is being offered to you under this with this full moon. There is a mystery collaboration. There's some sort of collaboration that affects your eighth house under this full moon. It needs some sort of structure. Right now, the structure is rooted in tension. Okay? And it could have a lot to do with resources as that's where I grabbed it from. Hmm. Okay, Spirit. Okay. Y'all, I said I would never do an extended, but I'm thinking about doing an extended to break down this. I'm thinking about doing an extended to break down this. Y'all leave me a comment. I'm going to record the extended for myself, mainly. Um, but if you all want me to release the extended, let me know down in the, uh, the comment section below. Because in the extended, I'll break down the, the Saturn lesson and how to navigate this collaboration that's what we'll dive deeper into okay all right spirit let's let's jump back into the youtube portion let's see I'm gonna get five cards out here The emotional self, what's arising from the subconscious, 
Wow. So the emotional self, I got the Knight of Swords. Which arising from the subconscious is the High Priestess. The past is the Knight of Pentacles. Something to embrace is justice. Death at the bottom of the deck. Definitely something significant about 8th health, eighth house energy here. Transformation, joint fort finances. Sex, death, rebirth, transformation. Deeply felt peak experience, depth, depth interactions with others, growth in change. So your emotional self is the Knight of Swords right now. So if I could be honest with you, the Knight of Swords for the emotional self is telling me that Sag is a little bit emotionally closed off right now. The emotionally openness for the Sagittarius relating to this right now is not there. It's, Sag isn't emotionally open at this time. The emotional self at this time, because you're so closed off, I don't feel like that you're receiving vital messages that need to come through so what's arising from the subconscious that needs to be released is these repressed emotions there are some repressed emotions that are preventing you from being open at this time and that is what this full moon in cancer is wanting you to dive deep into we don't have any cups here and we're speaking about a water sign a full moon so the other spread that I was going to use, which I opted not to use with these two, with these three cards is, has the emotional self been nurtured in the last six months? I'd say no. Honestly, I'd say no. What I feel like that has been happening to the emotional self in the last six months is protection. You know what I'm saying? So even if in the last six months you found yourself in an emotional connection, what's happened is the guards have went up. That's what's happened. So, um, past needs that need to be let go of, or like something from the past, something that you grasp from the past that needs to be let go of. For some of us, Sagittarian Collective, it could t it could just be a Knight of Pentacles, and this Knight of Pentacles could be a Virgo and or a Leo. Okay, now a lot of us, this could be. Where we always analyze, overanalyze the details. The past has taught us that you can't just be the Sagittarius and jump into things um, without doing your research. But unfortunately, going into, like, you're going to have to feel your feelings. This full moon in Cancer is saying that moving forward, moving forward, you're going to have to feel your feelings. You're going to have to feel your feelings. You may not necessarily have the time to plan, 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 plan. You're going to have to pick up into that more adventurous like energy. Okay. This is the first time I've noticed this, but this Knight of Pentacles has a doggy in it and y'all know for me these are my spirit like the the knight of pentacles if you've been here for a while is my spirit guide card um i have a dog spirit guide so what this could be saying is um okay for some of you all can if you've lost anyone in the last six months spirit is saying longer than that if you've lost someone and you still haven't really fully released them, um, you might need to get to trying to release them because this spirit guide is actually like this energy is actually trying to trans transcend into spirit guide position. So you may be holding on to them so tightly that they're not able to transition fully over so that they can access you via the spirit like they have more power if you can release the mourning of them and allow them to transition all the way over so that they can actually guide you okay so that's just for a select few of you all and then something that is that something to embrace that will help you grow 
emotionally is the justice card. Beautiful energy because that's saying embrace divine equilibrium. That's saying that the universe is bringing in universal balance for you. And it is it, it has the potential to go in your favor, but it does require you to release some negativity. Let's take a deeper dive and look at this Knight of Swords. So, guys, if you're resonating or you want to keep seeing what this message has in store, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button as we clarify these four cards. And we do have two nights here, so that is nice energy because it does look like this full moon in Cancer is bringing in incoming energy. It is bringing energy towards you, okay? Um, but we just got to open up to receive it. So, let's see. What is the message... The Knight of Swords is carrying for Sagittarius' emotional self. The Six of Wands. Um... Yeah, see, I feel like we got the Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Twelve of the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like that your emotional self at this time, I do feel like that you're, like I said, I feel like that you're kind of focused, like you're you're, you're focused on, on overcoming something. You're focused on receiving the fruits of your labor, and there's nothing that's going to distract you from receiving the fruits of your labor. Now, that presents an issue because I do see that what it is that you're kind of your emotional self is making you unavailable to some sort of there's like a message of success and trying out that's trying to come through to your emotional self there's a victory that your emotional self has received like there's some sort of reward reward there's something emotionally that you're not acknowledging and because you're not acknowledging that emotionally, you're not able to see the you're you're not able to grasp a hold of your personal victories, your personal satisfaction. You're you're actually not able to see that the arrival that prosperity is on arrival. It's actually coming in sooner than you think. And I feel like that it could come in via a collaboration. It just needs structure because the eighth house is other people's joint finances, other people's finances. You are going to be getting, like, there's a message of success via this. But your emotional self isn't open to receive it because of these repressed emotions. That are in the subconscious that are arising under this full moon in Cancer so that you can release it. So let's look at those. What are this? What is the High Priestess? This is arising from the subconscious to be healed and released. Definitely some repressed emotions. Can you get some insight? The past. Past. There's definitely an earth sign in your past. That there are some repressed emotions and maybe negative, um, negative emotions um, that you have towards um, an earth sign in the past. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I do have Libra, Pisces, Scorpio here as well. Aquarius. But it's like, what's happening under this full moon and cancer is just be aware that you may be able to, like you may encounter energies that you can directly connect to your past. Um, it may remind you of something from your past. Spirit is saying that that is happening so that you can see that something with that issue still has to be released. It's not to put you in this nostalgic place or anything like that or to trigger you or anything bad. But it is putting you there so that you can address the issues from, so that you can connect what's happening in your present moment to what is rooted in the past. Rooted. I mean, tension. But then root is back behind that. Okay, so if you can get to the root cause of this tension, then you're better off at the start of cancer season. Okay. 
which is at the end of June. I feel like that if you spend between now and June, the end of June, that new moon in Cancer, if you can work on releasing these negative emotions and opening yourself up, like you're needing to nurture yourself emotionally. I feel like that you're going to be able to manifest and bring in something new in that Cancer new moon. Like... I know, I know I am not the only one that will watch these tarot readings and we'll talk about the moon cycles and the moon phases and then we'll be like, but things are struggling with coming in. I don't remember what was going on then. I don't remember where my mind was at. I don't remember what I was manifesting in. One, that's why journaling is important. Two, it's because when the full moon in that zodiac sign, what are we releasing in preparation for that new moon in that exact same zodiac sign? So, Yes, we can use this as the end of a short moon cycle, but really moon cycles are from the zodiac sign, like the full, like the new moon in Cancer is really to that moon phase is really to that full moon. That's the, like, that's how you get the most out of that manifesting energy. Okay. So right now I would say that Sagittarius, ninth house collective, this next from this full moon in cancer to the new moon in cancer is going to be about gathering everything allowing these things to come up being triggered addressing the trigger cleaning the trigger out and extracting the lesson and moving forward that way when we get to that new moon we can actually be in a good place in a collaboration so that we can actually uh dive a little bit deeper into this collaboration and really benefit from the structure that is being put it like a collaboration could be ascending in june at the end of june it could be ascending at the end of at the end of june if this work is consummated for the next six months i hope that makes sense let me get back on track So, um, so something that past, something from the past that needs to be let go is this Knight of Pentacles. Let's see. What is this spirit? The Emperor in the reverse. You've made it. Okay. So the rigidity. I'm not going in this situation without a full plan. That is something that you're going to have to let go of, learn to let go of in this six months. So there's a need to have, find out that balance between, yes, I need a plan because I can't go in balls to the wild. Like I can't just go in with no precaution. But there's also this energy of not feeling like I've got to have it all planned out and then not not allowing wiggle room and flexibility on that plan. That is something that spirit is asking you to release under this full moon in cancer for the next six months. Okay. And then something to embrace here is the justice. Then I'm going to look at your blockages and then we'll call this a message, guys. If you have found this message helpful, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. Help circulate these messages as well as let me know that y'all want me to keep diving in on messages like this. I don't like this. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Something to embrace to grow you emotionally is the justice card. To be an optimistic that the universe is bringing in divine equal liberum the sun card to the justice card okay and this sun card says everything will go well positivity positivity success fun good fortune and health so the universe like how you can grow emotionally something to embrace is that the universe is always working in your favor the divine the universe is is, is working things out so that things can go well in your life 1933 on the timer, you are overcoming stress and anxiety. You're becoming reinvigorated in this. Like, that's what you need to embrace in this for the next six months. That's what this full moon in Cancer is asking you to embrace in preparation for the new moon in Cancer. Beautiful energy.
Beautiful energy. Look ahead towards new opportunities. The universal balance is in your favor. That's what you need to embrace. That is beautiful energy at the bottom of the deck. So let's see. The last question is, what is blocking Sagittarius's connection from their higher self and or spirit? The Nine of Swords, overthinking it, overthinking it, fears, anxiety, damn, didn't we get, didn't we see something about fears and anxiety leading the way to a wants? It's like the way that you, you plan your blockages is because you get anxious about the future, so you plan from an anxious perspective and therefore you close yourself off to the universe you don't believe that you're overcoming the stress and the anxiety the way what you need to embrace to grow much to grow emotionally is that you're overcoming the stress and anxiety and let me tell you this is the blockage to spirit the stress and the anxiety that's the stress, it's the way that you're talking to the universe, the way that you're sending out your messages to the universe via when you're stressed, when you're anxious. So spirit is saying, take a moment in those stressed and anxious moments. Be like, yep, I'm stressed. Yep, I'm anxious. But I also know that in order for me to grow emotionally, in order for me to grow emotionally past the stress and the anxiety, I must consciously make myself aware that I am releasing and I am overcoming this stress and this anxiety and that the universe is working in my favor and I can be optimistic about where this is headed. That's how you address this blockages. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let me get y'all y'all's closing message and y'all don't forget to let me know down in the comments if y'all want the extended version to where I dive into this eighth house um, this 8th house Aquarius and Saturn energy because I'm curious about that because I do feel like that between now and um, Spirit is saying that for a lot of a lot of the Sagittarians this is actually something that is going to happen now between now and the very next new moon however Is gonna that connection may have a hard time elevating for the next six months. So it's gonna be crucial for Sagittarius to put the work in so that when the universe is aligning things for this connection to actually elevate, it can elevate. But right now, spirit is actually asking you to, to dive deep in your interactions with someone to to, to really build a better structure so that you can get a gauge of the structure that is needed. Discipline, commitment. All right, baby girl, can you give us a closing message here for this full moon and cancer for the Sagittarian Collective? Guys, I hope that this message has offered you guidance and clarity along your journey. If it has, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below as it does help circulate these messages to other Sagittarians in need. All right, so the message from Baby Girl is spirit. I am filled with light. Change me, divine beloved, into one who knows my spirit is eternal and ageless. Let me release any old ideas of constriction or limitation. May... My whole being is filled with joy, energy, and beauty. A vessel of the divine shatskit. I mess that name up every time, so please forgive me, guys. But that is a beautiful card. Beautiful card. And at the bottom of the deck, we have acceptance. Yes, baby girl. There's definitely something about your solar plexus chakra that is standing out very strong for this um, full moon in Cancer, okay? Um, it says acceptance. I accept myself. Let me love and accept myself as you love me. 
May I find you shining brightly within my own being. Absolutely. And then unfolding. That's that uh, third eye chakra. That's that connection to spirit. According to your will. Change me, divine beloved, into one who lets you guide things according to your will. May the highest unfold in all ways. Yes, yes, yes. Unfolding. All right, guys, I absolutely love you. And I hope that this, wow, emotions at the bottom of the deck. I release strong emotions. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can easily access all my feelings. Let me bless and release anger, resentment, or bitterness. May I release any emotion that blocks happiness and contentment. Emotions, that's the moon and cancer. <laughs> So I definitely feel like that this um, full moon in Cancer is giving the Sagittarius Collective to really, a chance to really dive deep and see where you have been chained, like where your emotions have kind of kept you bound to certain um, outcomes in your life that you are really being given an opportunity to set yourself free from. And with the work and dedication of setting yourself free from this, I do see that you're going to be able to restructure the way that you collaborate with energies. I can't wait to see you on the other side and see what's going on. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Love and light, Sag.